Ah, so pissed off. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Fuck. Come the fuck on. It is. Fuck. Well. Fuck. Fuck. Bitch. 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 Ow. Get the fuck out of here. It's a good bitch. Fuck. Ass. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh yeah. What a dick. I know. That's my phone. Fuck I'm your a... phone. Hey. God. Damn, fuck you! So you're baby? Fuck off! Fuck! You smell like shit! Fuck off! Bird. Fuck that! <laughs> fuck! Fuck! Your dog's fucking crazy! Fuck off! Right. Fuck it! Damn! Yes! Fuck! Fuck! So Damn! The fuck we will! I know! Damn! Hi guys, I'm Steve, and I'm gonna make a ramble video right now that's not a talking kitty cat video, so, um, this is just for social networks, uh, to talk to some people about a few things, so if you click away right now, I totally understand. First things first, I'm happy you guys like the, uh, merch and stuff, but when I got on there and I saw that a t-shirt was like 22 freaking dollars, I was like, dude, I, I wouldn't even buy that, so I've actually gone back and, and fixed the price, where the hell was this? I fixed the pricing. Anyway, so that, no, no, does it make a difference, Steve? I'm so OCD. Like, girl, girl can't talk today. It's a I am coming across so many comments from people on different social networking platforms saying, oh man, I used to love your videos, you know, I, I wish you were still posting, and then, I am. I did, I never stopped. I never stopped. Wait, 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 I did stop. I have stopped before. I had a seven month stint back in, I don't, it's been years ago. And then before I did Bad 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 2, I went for nine months without posting a video because I'm like really bipolar and I, I, you know, I have depressions and I have manic ups and I'm on one right now, uh, which is probably why people see me a lot more online and they see me being a lot more productive. That's what happens for usually about a half a year, sometimes over a year, and then I go into a really, really, really deep depression. I can't make videos when that's happening. I can't be funny when all of my thoughts are like deep, dark, introverted, just the worst things you can be thinking about. I hate when YouTubers talk about you having to hit the subscribe button and the notification and then they want to explain it. I hate stuff like that, but I feel like I'm, I need to take a minute to explain the bell. If you don't touch that little bell thing, you're not going to get notified about new videos. And hopefully I, I never have to say it again. Oh guys, the catio. Guys, I am seriously so freaking proud of myself. I almost fell in a damn hole. Anyway, hey Sylvester, how's it going buddy? He's on it, but he's not talking to me today. But the you know what's funny is I'm still in the exact same filming part as like the first part of the video, but since I know that I recorded outside earlier and that I was gonna put it over in this later part of the video, I just come up and I go like this, and then pull my hand and like, I shouldn't be giving away my secrets. That's a bad speech. Fucking ow, dude. And this is actually where all of the magic happens. And they send treats for Shelby Girl! Trucks! There's some for Gibby's son right there, and some for Gigi, which is awesome. She's just a baby! She's allergic. He just got out of rehab! Thank you everybody for your continued support with the Talking Kitty Cat series. For doing something that I've been doing for over 10 years and still getting this kind of response from everybody. I can't tell you guys how humbling it is and just how... How fortunate I feel. You've allowed me to take something that is just something I enjoy doing and to turn it into a career. And that's really what it is. Thank you guys so much, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, I need to talk to you and Gibson for a minute. No. Sylvester, come on, kitty. It'll only take a minute. Besides, it's really important. What? So, two things. Gibson, you need to hear this, too. First, I found something in the backyard. Yeah? Somebody sent you a present, and Gibson is going to love it. 
Do you ever get tired of seeing Sylvester's butt? Yeah. So apparently some of you are getting tired of seeing Sylvester's butt. It's the Twinkle Tush. It's a little piece of jewelry made specifically to cover up a cat's asshole. I think I'm gonna try it on the dog first. It looks kinda cool on you, Shelby girl. But it's made for kitty cats. I'm sorry, Shelby girl. I love you. Let's get this thing off you. Okay, here it is. It's called the Twinkle Tush. It's a magical anal jewel made for only the most special of all special kitties. Have you heard of it? No. <laughs> I'm surprised, Sylvester. All the fashionable kitty cats are wearing one. Then it covers up your butthole, and then the lady kitty cats will love you. Do you want the lady kitty cats to love you? Yeah. <laughs> How would you like to go outside and eat some wet food like a pimp? Yes. <laughs> all right, come on, kitty kitty. Looking good, kitty. Hey, be nice. What, what the hell? Knock it off! Hey, Shelby! I don't blame you for taking that off, Sylvester. It attracts the wrong kind of bitches. And, and don't put it in your mouth. I put it on the dog's butt first. <laughs> <sighs> Poor kitty. <sighs> Was that you? <laughs> Are you okay, kitty? Kitty? Oh, I'm not your mama, but I'm trying to find your owner. So cute, but who's your owner? Hello. I'm Steve. I make videos and shit. What? <laughs> My friend's dog had puppies. I brought one home. We have a dog. For real? Yeah, she's out in the living room. She's so cute. Come check Aww, her out, man. Aw, you gotta be um, Her name's Shelby. She's a black lab, and uh, here she is at just a couple weeks old. All the dogs in the litter were really, really cute, but you know, she was the first to escape. Shelby seemed to latch on me right off the bat, even before I knew what her name was. And her personality is just so perfect. So, yeah, she ended up being the one that we took home. After about eight weeks, she was finally old enough and big enough for us to go ahead and take her home. She was not happy about it. She is not happy at all right now. <laughs> Are you done? Bullshit! Oh, we get to keep you guys for two more weeks? I'm so excited! Random, your kittens are so cute, huh? Yeah. Oh, they are. They're adorable kitty. Come on up here with your brothers and sister. I gotta talk to you guys, okay? <clears throat> Attention, random Gibsons. Hello, my name is Steve. We've met before. How are you doing, little gray? How are you? <coughs> Whoa, hey, look. look. I'm sorry. Look, I... Well, you're falling. Come on. Come on, let me help you back up there. Come on, kitty. My goodness, sh you're, you're trembling. Uh, your mom is gonna be so mad at me. Random kitty. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. Li I need to talk to you. I need kitty, look. Come on, it's important. Kitty. What the? Random kitty is just so random. <laughs> Maybe you're just weird. It's so, so do you forgive me for earlier? You know, for the vacuum in it. Come on, look, I said I was sorry, I did what, what are you doing? Come on, don't swipe at me. I said I was sorry about the vacuum, it won't happen again. Hey, seriously, you, quit being a thug. But at least you like kittens, you can understand, right, girl? But she's a dumb bitch. Fine, I'll take my punishment. I hope this makes you feel better. Hi, I'm Steve Cash. The number one question that I get all the time right now is, who's Todd? Uh, we don't know right now. The second question that I get more often than anything is, why doesn't Shelby talk? Um, guys, because Shelby's a dog, everybody knows that dogs can't talk. The third misconception that I keep running into, I didn't lose Gibson, but I did lose Ibanez. So I want to kind of recap, I want to go back to the beginning and see how we got to where we are today. So I'd kind of like to go through the timeline and give a little history. I've been putting videos on YouTube for over three years now and it's been a blast. So let's go back. Honestly, the only reason I even signed up for YouTube is because I saw SMP Films' Mean Kitty song, and I wanted to let him know that Sparta didn't have shit on Sylvester when it came to attitude. I didn't plan on ever making another kitty video after this. After creating a little rap song about computers and posting an old video of my niece, I pointed the camera back at Sylvester as he laid on my bed, and the rest is history. This was Talking Kitty Part 1. The video made the front page of a few websites, but I called it a fluke. After all, we were just playing around. About a year later, a new kitten was introduced and only debuted in two videos. His name was Ibanez. 
We had him for a couple of months before he disappeared. If you look on my channel banner, the kitty with Sylvester in the top right image might be mistaken for Gibson. It was 26 videos of music and blogs and just over two years between the first and second talking kitty video. It was called Wake Up what? and Meet the New Puppy. <laughs> my friend's dog had puppies. I brought one home. We have a dog. For real? Yeah, she's out in the living room. She's so cute. Come check Aww, her out, man. You gotta be oh, you guys be friends. We actually had gotten a new puppy, no, and her name was Shelby. But because yes, Sylvester refused to wake up and meet her, she was introduced in another video called Cutest Puppy Ever. I'd like to eat myself some cheese, but it's been too long. Now it's moldy. The music and random comedy just continued. As a diehard musician, I've always enjoyed getting my creations out there, no matter how ridiculous. In June of 2010, a viewer named Hallelujah mailed me a recorded DVD copy of Wake Up Kitty as it was aired on national television. This got me thinking. It was time to get back to recording the cat. So, for the first time, Sylvester and Shelby were in a video together, and we got a chance to see their lack of chemistry in a third installment originally called Talking Kitty Bath Time. I continued to post music videos and Talking Kitty videos. The response from the public was obvious. They enjoyed the music, but they loved Sylvester. Take a look at this kitty right here. I love the look of that kitty. So we're gonna go get him right now. A new family member was introduced. After losing Ibanez a year before, I saw a picture of who we now know as Gibson on a Craigslist ad. He looked almost identical to our long lost kitten Ibanez. We traveled across town to pick him up. And wake up and meet the new kitten, you can see his introduction. Oh, Sylvester, look, you finally showed up. <laughs> Oh. Hey, hey, stop the weird kitty noises. Stop it, Sylvester, cut it out. Hey, it's really not that- kill you. Get out of here now! Viewers started calling the Talking Kitty videos a series. Gibson's been a driving part of the cast. With his tiny little vocabulary and a seemingly panicked persona, he seems to fit in perfect with the rest of us. His first word was help. By the time he spoke another word, all that was left was confusion. His second word was Todd a human name that none of us could really relate to. Sylvester knows exactly who this mysterious Todd is. And so here we are, all the way from 2007 to just days away from 2011. To some people, these are just stupid talking cat videos or stupid music videos or some jackass in front of the camera. But to me, it's literally therapeutic. I enjoy it immensely. It started off as just a fun little project and all it's done is get more and more fun. This video right here marks the 84th video I've made on YouTube, which means I've actually outgrown my name. I figured I'd let you guys in on a little secret. It's how do I make the talking kitty videos. There's always a method or a technique behind what you're doing, especially when it comes to dealing with animals. We're gonna need a lot of supplies, but the first thing we need is a cat. If you don't have one, don't worry. You can always go find one on the street and return it later or borrow one from a friend, but use the same one every time. If you want to make things really interesting, get another cat. You're also going to need a camera to record the events, otherwise nobody's going to believe you. Getting an animal to communicate with you in a verbal dialogue is tricky business, so we're going to have to be tricky too. The first thing we're going to need is a string. We also need a legal size envelope with no window in it, a small bag clip. The last thing we're going to need is some ramen noodles. Don't worry, this will make sense later. How you prepare the ramen noodles is entirely up to you, but I like to boil them in a pan. The stuff right here is fucking delicious. Next, go ahead and strain the ramen noodles and then add your seasoning. Oh, well, not so fast, kitty. You'll get yours later. Next thing we need to do is get the ramen noodles into the envelope. Close the envelope now, and then we're gonna take the string and we're gonna tie it around the envelope. Just like that. And then we're gonna take the two sides, put them together, and then place the bag clip on the ends to hold it tightly, is take the enveloped ramen and put it in your back pocket. It's still warm. And then let's go find the cat. I found him. He's right over here on the floor. Let's make some video magic. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Sylvester, turn around, I got the camera. Fuck off. Amazing. Thanks for watching.
One from a pack of ten Cause one by one You never came back with them Where'd you put your balls? Shelby, where are your balls? This shit's not funny Where'd you put your balls? I wanna play outside with you I know you wanna play fetch too But now you're just sitting in the hall Because you lost your last fucking ball now we're stuck inside for weeks I know that tennis balls are cheap But I'm not gonna buy any more Cause you lost them, it's your fault, bitch I wanna tell you a little story about my experience on unemployment But first, we're gonna have to go back to the beginning. About 8 in the morning, getting ready to leave. I got my teeth brushing, hair done, and damn, look at me. Strap on my shoes, I get my car keys, I head for the door, then the damn phone rings. Hello? Hi, Steve. Remember me? I'm your boss. Sales are kind of slow, so take some time off. <laughs> I mean, oh, that sucks. I hope it gets better and that work picks up. Oh, shit. Work is gone. No more 925 for me. So Dude, don't you even care where we're gonna go? No. Well, we're gonna go get the new kitten, and we're gonna bring him to his new home. Here? Yeah, and you better get along with him, Sylvester, seriously. Doubt it. Come here. His name's gonna be Gibson. <coughs> What's this? <coughs> Shelby! Are you alright, buddy? Be nice to the cat. It's gonna be just fine, don't worry. <gasps> oh, Sylvester, look, you finally showed up. <laughs> oh. wow. Hey, hey, stop the weird kitty noises. Stop it, Sylvester. Cut it out. Are you gonna be able to talk too? What up? What is that? What? Your neck, kitty. Are you mad at me? Yeah. Let's go to the house. What is wrong with you? Get out of the truck. It's getting late. Let's go inside, please. What? <laughs> it's it's just it's a hot box. But don't worry, I'll feed you your dry food in a little bit. Yeah. Don't be so excited about it, Sylvester. Tell you what, would you rather have some wet food instead? Yeah. How's my Shelby girl doing today, huh? Hey, girl. That's a lot of poop in here. Let's get you some water. There you go. I'm gonna try this again, okay? Go in the house. Come on, girl, let's go. Shelby, come on! She lives out in the truck. What? Yeah, where'd you think she was? Gone. Do you know something? No. Kitty, I don't believe you. What happens? Yeah. Don't you fake me out at me, Sylvester. What happened? It's a doggy thought translator caller. All right, we haven't used this thing in a while, but everything looks good. Intent? Okay, all right, Shelby girl, what are you thinking about? Hamburgers! <laughs> of course. Well, the collar still works. Why won't you go inside? I'm scared. What happened? I was protecting the black one. He said if I come back, he'll cut your fucking neck. You could eat him if you wanted. Like a hamburger? I guess, but then, no, wait, Shelby. What the fuck? You took that completely out of context. Don't eat the cat. No. Ah, great. It's cold. Everybody's okay, Shelby girl. Your dog's fucking crazy. Hi, Gibson. How you doing, buddy? I think anybody go a little nuts after sitting in their own poop for an entire month straight. I'm just glad you're back in the house, Shelby girl. She can go to hell. Oh, kitty, you're so cute. Don't. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, kitty, kitty, kitty. Gibson, are you expecting company? Yeah. Well, she's here. Who? Some bitch. <laughs> ah, there it is again, Gibson. Gibson, get the door, please. I really like this chair. This is a nice chair. I think from now on this will be my chair. Is that a fly on my chair? It's a fly on my chair. You know what, though? Yeah, I think I'll keep this. This'll be my spot from now on forever, and I won't let anybody- How the fuck did he get behind me? I don't think so! 
fuck off of my chair. This is my chair. This ain't your fucking chair. All of it is mine. This is my fucking chair. Stay the fuck off of my chair. You've been nominated by like dozens of people to do the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. It's for a really good cause. So come on, let's go do it, buddy. What? Well, <laughs> it's easy. We just have to pour ice water on you and then we're going to do uh -uh. Hey, I know it sounds bad. Come on, kitty. It's for a good cause. Come on, let's just do it. Ow. Kitty, kitty, kitty! Hello. Sylvester, kitty, please! Uh -uh. Fuck it. Dear Diary, September 11th. It's been weeks since my last entry. I've been very busy. He gave Gibson three treats and gave me only two treats. He didn't think I would notice. Gibson will die for this. These ones are called heavenly noms. I refused his bribery. You cannot buy my forgiveness. Gibson, however, was easy to bribe. He ate the magical treat, and then it happened. Fly away. Gibson, no! Shh! Gibson! Kitty! What the f? Gibson! No! Hi. Hi. Yes, I'm calling to report a missing kitty cat. A truck. Do you, do you guys happen to have like helicopters? A helicopter? Never mind. Of course, he survived intact. After all, this was only one of his nine lives. Eight more kills, and we should be rid of him for good. Until next time, diary. I'll have to be more creative to kill him faster. Soon. My name is T1 Motherfucking Cash, and I play guitar. I like skateboarding and snowboarding, but never get far. I got a million video games and even more DVDs that I never watch or play because I hate my TV. I could buy a brand new car instead of driving the seat. It's not because I ain't got money, it's because I'm so damn cheap. I got a pretty little girlfriend and a great family, too. And a little black cat, but I'll give them to you. I play the bass and drums and sing, I'm really just a big old key. Staying up on my computer all night long. You're wasting your life. Fuck it. What? Is that what you called me in here for? Random, I'm not your mom. Random kitty, we have been over this so many times. Look, I'm not your mom. I didn't give birth to you. We're not even the same species. It's time for you to take some responsibility for yourself and stop expecting everybody else. Uh, you, you're not even listening. You know, this is stupid. I was, uh, what are you trying to say? Fine, fine, fine. I'll be your mom. I'm your mom. Whatever. Sylvester still swears that I forgot his birthday, but I didn't. He did. I got him a cake and catnip and, and, and everything. He just never showed up. Oh, it's my daughter, Random Kitty. <laughs> oh, you're all right, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Is my kitty ready for catnip? Yeah. <laughs> of course you are, kitty. But remember, be good. Are you going to start freaking out, hallucinate, and have a panic attack again? No. Okay, you better not, kitty. Here you go. Did you get it? I have a straw. You, are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, fine, I'll get you a straw. I don't feel good about this, Kitty. I mean, it just seems dangerous. Here you go. Kitty. <sighs> Slow down. How are you doing? You enjoying your cat? <coughs> Sylvester? <coughs> Kitty? <coughs> Kitty? <coughs> Kitty? <coughs> what are you doing? <coughs> Sylvester, what, did, what are you attacking? Is there, is there like a bug or something? I don't see. Kitty, snap out of it. What are you doing? I hope this isn't permanent. Gibson, kitty, kitty, kitty. How you doing, little buddy? Oh. Hey, so when you said that Sylvester was at Todd's, did you did you mean like at Todd's? So Sylvester's been gone now for five whole days, and uh, if he's gonna come back, he needs to come back now because we're moving. Gibson, say something. Gibson, Shelby, you say something. Somebody. Man, talking kitty videos suck without Sylvester. That better be who I think it is. Kitty! Sylvester! It's good to see you too! Gibson, come in here. Hey, Shelby, look. Look who's finally home with Sylvester. Hey, st hey, stop licking his butt! I doubt you want to, like, tell me where you've been this whole time, huh? No. Alright. Well, I'm gonna drop it for now, and you're not grounded anymore. But, uh, I just want you to know, if there's anything you ever have to talk about, or that's on your mind, and you want to get... Yeah, what's up, buddy? I'm all ears. What's going on? Shut up. 
Shelby, stop licking Gibson's butt. What is your deal today? Why are you licking everybody's butt? This butt lad licked to get some food. <laughs> Ew, you just got butt licked in the face. Oh, that's gross. Shelby, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I like the part where the dog licks the cat's butt, then licks the other cat's butt, then licks the cat's face. <laughs> oh, I'm confused. What happened to Talking Kitty 13? Eventually, you'll figure it out, and then you'll find the hidden video. Gosh, I sure love you, Kitty Kitty. <laughs> so, are you gonna tell me? No. <laughs> I bought a whole case of wet kitty food new toys. I'm doing everything I can do to butter him up, and he just won't tell me. I can't wait until you learn some more words, Kitty. <laughs> Well, how come you guys always leave one little piece of kitty food in the water? And why? Ew. Guys, I'm gonna need a fishing net. Why are we leaving cat food in the water bowl again? After refusing to spill the beans about Todd, Sylvester is once again grounded for a full week from wet kitty food. Tune in next time!